channel. Welcome back to the homestead. We have a treat for you today. A few weeks back I did a garden walk but I did not show you the girls garden spaces. So today I'm going to let them each give you a little tour of their garden spaces. But first I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, last week we were blessed again hugely. We got most of the supplies that we need for our milking barn. Thank you Mark for that. Praise ya. And then also um, the boys with the help of our friend Mark were able to um, totally frame up the blacksmithing area so uh, we're really thankful for all the forward progress here we're getting some things done and it's very exciting so let's go check out the girls garden spaces good morning girls you ready to share your garden spaces to everyone yeah all right we'll start with you Abby girl is this your little spot over here yeah yeah. That's your little spot. She has a purple pole bean growing up a trellis. She has some little flowers in pots. Some Johnny jump ups. She's got an echinacea that's just about to open. Some sweet violets. What else do you have in your little garden space, honey? More Johnny Jumps. More Johnny Jumps? Do you like Johnny Jump Ups? And more Violets. More Violets. And this is dead. And this dead? Yeah. <laughs> that looks like a mist flower that got a little bit sad. We'll fix it up, huh? Do you think we should water your garden today? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a little bit dry, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like gardening, Abby? Yeah. Yeah. She also was given a few little miniature garden items by her big sister, so she's got those tucked in there. Very fun. Well, thanks for sharing your space with us. Should we go on to Biddle now? Yeah. All right. So I have a pea plant right here. Yes, you do, and this pea is doing fantastic. Look at that, it's outgrowing its trellis. I also have a pea down here that's ready. Oh. Do you like those peas? Yeah. They're a tasty treat, huh? All right, one what do you... Back here too. Oh, you got another one back there? Mm -hmm. So we gave her this space all along our Zucchino Rampicante trellis. So those are going to be growing up on her trellis, but she has space all along this bed here. You want to come tell us what you've got in your bed? I have some dry jump up here. And I have a flower here. Do you want to jump up? She has a liatris flower, some strawberries. What else? This is a crazy plant that I've been having. Crazy plant? That's a lamb's quarter right there, huh? Yeah. She has some garlic. Mm -hmm. You pretty much just have a little of this and a little of that. Violet. Oh, yep, sweet violet. Oh, my pea plant. Yes, your pea plant. She's got some mist flower also. Yeah. 
Johnny jump ups. And I have a big plant here. Do you remember what that one's called? Sedum. Can you say sedum? Sedum. That was from Esther Pie, huh? Mm-hmm. And this is like just a big, a big plant. It grows really big. Yeah, this is the start of snow and summer, and it's it's pretty small right now, but it could get really big and fill out that whole corner of your bed, huh? Do you like gardening, Biddle? Yeah. Cool. What's your favorite thing about coming out to your garden space? To have a pee. To have a pee? <laughs> yeah, because I really like peas. They're good, huh? Yeah. Very cool. And pretty soon you'll also have some beans, huh? Yeah. She has a purple pool bean growing up her trellis over here, too. Very cool. It's getting really tall. It is. It's going to be fun in the middle of the summer to come out and get beans, huh? Yeah. Do you think we should water your garden today? Yeah. Yeah. It's very fun in my garden. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, we're going to take a look at Esther Pie's garden. And you've had a lot more experience than your younger sister, so your space has grown and flourished, and it's super exciting. So let's take a look. So Esther has this whole back corner of the garden. She's got two cherry trees. One is quite young here. The other one's quite mature. <laughs> uh, and then she's been doing a lot of perennials this year, huh? Mm -hmm. It's right in between the spring blooms and summer blooms, so there's not a ton of color in your garden, but it's still so beautiful. And the potential is amazing. The color that's going to be coming is going to be amazing. <laughs> So what do we have right here, sweetheart? These are poppies right here, and I have some lamb's ear. Beautiful. And some liatrices here that are about to bloom. And some daylilies here. Great, this is going to be a white daylily. More lamb's ear. And I have some Johnny Jump Ups just mixed in throughout the whole garden and stuff. Yep, beautiful Johnny Jump Ups. This is a new geranium, so it'll probably bloom next year. I've got some wormwood here. Yeah, pretty silvery leaves. Yep, and then sedum all over in here and stuff. It's going to be blooming right. in the summer. Yeah, that yeah. gets so beautiful when that blooms, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, what's next here? Well, there's a mum right here that's going to bloom soon. And is that a white mum? Um, it's a really like pale yellow. Pretty. Okay, and then you just planted this hosta here. She had a bunch of spring bulbs. So she's going to be planting hostas around her spring bulb areas. So the hostas will kind of take over once those spring bulbs die. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? Some orchid fire dance this year, and then here's some phlox that we just got from our woods. Uh -huh. And then here is a violet, some yeah, sort of violet. Yeah. And all back around right over here we have dahlias, echinacea, snapdragons, more liatris, and some foxglove. Yeah, she had a foxglove that was getting buried by the weeds on her fence line, so we just transplanted that. And another, another foxglove over there. So the echinacea is just about ready to no. burst forth in color. Same with the snapdragons. So we'll definitely have to do another tour in the summer when you've got all your color, huh? Yeah. All right, um, let's move to the back there. What's behind you? Right here is my crazy herb that we still don't know what it is for sure. Yeah, we think it might be a bee balm of some sort. It was yeah. just a mystery herb. <laughs> so yep. we're waiting for that to bloom. It looks like bee balm to me. Yep. And then right here is some creeping thyme. Here I have a raspberry plant. Uh-huh. You've had the best peas on the homestead this year. We tried a new variety. What kind is it? Drought proof Wando. Drought proof Wando. And it's been amazing. We've gotten so many peas off of this thing. They're so crunchy and delicious, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> okay, and then moving around behind you, what do you have going on? Right here I have a spinach. And then some, some more sweet violets. <laughs> yeah, some sweet violets. And then there's like white violets or something. There's just um, an iris that's planted or potted up because there wasn't enough space for it in here. And then more liatris back here, some more wormwood, mm -hmm. more violets. 
And then here I have mist flower, it's about to bloom. Yeah, mist flower. This is going to have a really beautiful misty lavender color bloom. It's going to be so pretty. Mm -hmm. um, she used to have a bunch of bulbs on the fence line. She planted some yarrow back in there. Um, what's this here in the center, Esther Pie? Hollyhock. Hollyhock. Yeah, we have trouble with hollyhocks, so we do have to trim off most of the leaves because they get overtaken by rust. Mm -hmm. But the blooms are just so worth it, huh? <laughs> yeah. So I think hers is going to be a burgundy color hollyhock here, right in the center. Mm -hmm. Here, here are some irises that actually just bloomed this year. They haven't bloomed for years. Yeah, that was so fun. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then I have another mum right here, the same mm -hmm. kind as the other one mm -hmm. on the other side. Some bee balm here. Yeah, this is red crimson bee balm that we planted probably our first year here, and it just keeps coming back. Not your favorite color, but it's worth it too, huh, to keep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to back up here. She's got a bunch of little ground covers and strawberry right on the edge of her pathway. Yeah. Uh, and, and then back in here, lots of Johnny Jump Up and Comfrey and Hostas that are doing beautifully. Johnny Jump Ups are just so fun, so gorgeous. And then what did you plant for the first time, sweetheart, from seed over here? Corn flowers. Corn flowers that are so beautiful, but they are quite floppy. <laughs> They're mostly on the ground. So we might try a dwarf variety, huh? Yeah. And see if that'll do better here. Yep, and I got a volunteer pea plant that's just growing up the corn flowers. Oh, stuff. bean plant? Bean plant, yes, yeah, right. Yep, purple mm. pole bean. She's got some poppies in here that haven't started blooming yet, hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. And then, I've got some radishes that are going to seed. We already got. Yeah, we harvested a bunch of radishes in here. Mm-hmm. My peony pot. Right, she's got a little baby peony in there. So hopefully that'll make it and mm -hmm. bloom in a year or two. It takes some time to establish those, huh? Yeah. Cool. Well, this is so beautiful, sweetheart. I know you get discouraged a little bit because your garden takes the brunt of all of our flooding. So all of her yeah. topsoil runs away when we have floodwaters and then also brings a bunch of weed seeds so she's constantly weeding uh, but we are going to be taking care of those problems hopefully soon huh yeah we're going to be putting a cement walkway all along the edge of the driveway to prevent runoff from the driveway going through our garden um, and then we're going to put a bunch more pea gravel huh a nice thick layer yep. in your walkways do you like gardening Mr. Pie? Yeah, even when you have to weed all the time, it's still worth it to come out and see beautiful little blooms like this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the first things you do every morning is come out to the garden and see what new color has opened up. <laughs> She's back to the peas. <laughs> well, thank you, Esther Pie, for sharing a bit of what's going on in your garden. Thank you, as always, to our patrons who make these videos possible. We so appreciate you guys. And until next time, we pray blessings over all of you. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. heart.